Hello! Welcome or welcome back to my channel! As you can say, we're in the kitchen today because we are doing a weekend vlog. It has been way too freaking long since we've done a vlog together. And I just missed you and I feel like there's so many things I want to talk about and catch you guys up on that I haven't really been able to fully talk about in my regular videos because I'm talking about a particular product or it's something that maybe you guys just want to hear about this one thing so I don't want to like bog you down with all these other details about my life and what's going on. So we're going to hang out together this weekend, talk about some new makeup, a ton of new makeup, but also give you the lowdown on what's been going on with me personally, with Bubel, with um, some of my collaborations coming up this month just kind of giving you an update because I miss you guys. So Reed is actually going out of town this weekend for a golf trip. So you know it's perfect timing because whenever he goes out of town, I end up doing a lot of stuff like going to Trader Joe's <laughs> and going shopping. Today is Friday and I am about to head off to um, my Friday yoga class. I always go to yoga at noon on Fridays. And then I have to drop off some packages. I basically live at the UPS store at this point. I have to drop off some packages and then I want to film this afternoon. I actually asked on my community tab if you guys wanted to see a full face of new makeup, a dedicated review to the new Glossier foundation, or if you wanted to see like the strawberry girl trend in real life, because I feel like I do the, I do the trends more on like shorts, TikTok reels vibes. I didn't know if you guys wanted like a more in-depth review. It doesn't seem like you do, or a more detailed tutorial. So I think we're gonna do a full face new makeup, including like the new Tower 28 concealer, the Glossier foundation, like we'll kind of do a little bit from each category. So that will probably go up literally tomorrow. I'll have to edit that tonight. You can't tell I'm a little bit behind. <laughs> But it's fine, we're gonna get it done. And then yeah, tomorrow we are going to do some more work. And then me and my best friend are going to Oppenheimer. I'm going to dinner. So let's just hang out this weekend and um, catch up and kiki. How does that sound? Again, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I wanna be knowing you. <laughs> hey, could I do a grande brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso with just one pump of brown sugar instead of four? What else for you? That's it. All right, it's gonna be 650. Thank you. Good, how are you? Are you um, I'm going to see Oppenheimer. I know, I already saw a Barbie, so I'm like, yeah. gotta see the other half now. Have you seen it yet? No, I saw Barbie, but yeah. I don't know if Oppenheimer is fine, but... Do we, like, like do we like Dad? No. Okay, so then <laughs> don't see it. I'll come back, but it's not it's not worth the, yeah. the father trauma at yeah. all. Always finding a way to talk about daddy issues, even in a Starbucks. <laughs> so I just got out of the shower and I always have to film or if I'm gonna do my skincare routine I have to film it right when I get out of the shower because I hate having dry skin I have to put stuff on it right when I get out I'm starting with the source essence from Monday born this is another brand under Bubel which is the company that I use and work with to make my freckle pen and that I'm going to make my tubing mascara with so I feel like maybe we should talk about that because it's just different than a normal launch of like creators who work on a collaboration or work on a product line or a brand. It's different from that. Like I am working in collaboration with Beeble to make a product with you guys, but it's not necessarily a its own brand. Does that make sense? I'm going to mix the new Drunk Elephant D Goldie drops into my Future Wise um, Slug Cream. I freaking love this stuff, especially for during the day. And I don't use that much, just like a little dollop, but I did this yesterday and it looked really, really pretty. I actually like this more than I like the D Bronzy drops just because, I don't know, it just gives you this like really gorgeous glow to your skin without any glitter and I just really like it. So I'll do this and then I'll put on my SPF. Anyways, basically the launch of the freckle pen went very well, thank you for asking. And people are just starting to get their freckle pens from the first round of purchases like right now. And I'm so excited to see what everyone has to say about the pen and how they use it and just can't wait to see you guys getting it. And because of that, we um, are launching a second product together. And you guys, I have so many ideas for future products too. It's actually crazy. But this next one is going to be a chocolate brown tubing mascara. I felt like this is something that I've always looked for on the market and doesn't exist. Like a good one doesn't exist. Literally the only one that I've ever tried that I liked the color of was this one from Glossier. And I don't really like the Glossier tubing mascara because I don't find that it really does much for your lashes. Like it's almost too barely there. 
Do you know what I'm saying? So I am working with 15 different people from my community, maybe you, I don't know if you signed up. I'm using the Summer Fridays shade drops for SPF today. And we are basically going to create my perfect, our perfect tubing mascara, just like we did with the freckle pen. And I have people from all different ages, all different skin types, tones, and people who use different kinds of mascara. So that regardless of who you are, you are gonna have a good experience with it, whether you use regular mascara, waterproof, or tubing. And I'm really, really, really excited for this one. But I'm also nervous because people are really particular about their mascara and I am too. So I know that it's not going to work for everyone just simply because not everyone is going to like the same thing. But I hope that I can get as many people as possible to like it. <laughs> okay, next I am going to use the new Naturium Eye Cream. This is the light medium shade. This is the Vitamin Bright. I like this. I like it. Um, I think the shades are a little funky. I've really been into the bright and glow eye cream from um, First Aid Beauty because it's more of like an orangey tone and this one is more of a yellow, like a straight up yellow tone, which I do like and I think that it gives a really nice glow to the under eyes, but um, I just prefer the shade from the First Aid Beauty one and I like that the new version is in a little squeezy tube so I don't have to stick my fingers into a pot. But yeah, it's super pretty. I've been loving this combo of like the glowy moisturizer lightweight SPF and glowy eye cream. So basically I have a bunch of ideas of different products that I want to make and I want them to be things that are so like true to who I am. So obviously the freckle pen was an easy choice and it was a good place to start of to sort of start. And then to me, the brown tubing mascara was like always in the back of my head. Like it's something I get asked for literally constantly just using the road lip treatment and I never have a good recommendation. So why not make one ourselves? Okay. We're going to do a great job together. I believe it. You and me, we're doing it. That's pretty much all I've been doing for my skincare recently in the morning. And then, um, might do a little mist before I start my makeup in a little bit. One thing about me is when I'm ready to film, the landscapers will be doing the yards in all four quadrants around my home. It's absolutely crazy. It's five o'clock on a Friday and the landscapers are out. What's up? Um, I just finished filming my all new makeup video for YouTube and I talked in that video about how I just feel like I have been behind on YouTube for months and I'm just like so tired of saying that. So I've decided to update my filming schedule to be basically once a week rather than continuing to try and upload twice a week and disappoint you and myself and other people because I just... I don't have the time right now. It's not that I don't want to upload twice a week. I do, but I just feel like I'm a little burnt out and I don't want to neglect my family and my husband and just our relationship because I'm trying to work too much. So that's what we're doing for the current. And I just think it's a good decision. So anyways, I love the way that this makeup turned out. I'm wearing the new Glossier foundation as well as the Tower 28 concealer. Really a nice duo. Um, these two together. I'm wearing shade light four in the Glossier foundation and IE, which I think is some six in the Tower 28. It's so, so, so pretty. Um, I'm a little stressed because everybody is coming out with concealers right now. Just in front of me, I have the Live Tinted, the House Labs, and the Tower 28. And I have tried them all and I like them all, which is weird and unfortunate because I'm like, how am I gonna talk about this and differentiate the differences between them because they are all very similar because makeup comes and goes in trends. And so like the style of makeup right now is like lightweight serum concealer, it can pack a punch, it's buildable. Like it's a lot of the same stuff. So they are similar, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I'm gonna do my best to do a video that gives you some differentiation. But that's where we're at. Also wearing the new Milk Odyssey lip oil in the shade Twerk, Trek not twerk. And it's crazy because I literally am not going anywhere tonight, but I'm gonna eat pizza with my husband at home. Oh, the other thing I wanted to draw attention to, which this is all in the video, but these new M Cosmetics Pillow Plush blushes, they're so good. They're so good and so matte, and I didn't think I would like them because I don't usually like matte, and I love them. So, really like this makeup. I think it turned out very well, and that video should be up either before, right before or right after this video. time in which my dogs are not barking. Nary. 
So we're just gonna talk through it. It is Saturday, the 19th. It is already 11:21, and I'm still in my pajamas. And I don't want to hear a thing. Those fuckers. I don't want to hear a thing about it, especially from you. Okay? It's a Saturday. I can be in my pajamas as long as I want. And look at this top. I got it done in Gatlinburg. Come on, it's kind of cool. My God, someone sent me flowers. I think my husband sent these. For heaven's sake, it says that he sent them to himself because why not? But it does say I love you on the back and I don't think he would say that unless it was for me. Beautiful! Sweet! I did tell him I want him to send me more flowers so he really got, got the gist. Cute! I love a little Sunday, Saturday flower. I have a ton to do today. I have to film for Paula's Choice and for Oleo E R sorry, and that is Oleo E R. So it's a really nice makeup brand that I'm working with. I have to organize some stuff in my beauty room because it is really, really messy right now. I also need to work out, and then Hannah and I, my best friend, are going to see Oppenheimer tonight. That's gonna be a long ass movie. It's like three hours, and we're seeing it in IMAX. So happy Saturday! I got a bunch of stuff from Rose Ink, and some of it I. I'm gonna try and some of it I don't really have interest in trying. They sent a lot of lipsticks. I'm not like a huge lipstick person, but they did send the skin tint and I have tried this in the past and didn't like it. It's very much like the um, Chanel one that has like the pigment that's suspended in it, but they sent a brush as well. So I'm really curious about, I don't know. This is just like, why am I doing this right now? I just think she's gonna look so dry on the skin because it's basically like water. I don't know. Why am I doing this? I'm about to take a shower, so it's fine, but I don't know about all of that. If I'm being aged, it might still be a fail. I put it as a fail a long time ago, and now I'm looking at it again. Let's use the other color because this color is obviously too light for me. I don't know. I just think it's like too watery. Like, it's so strange. It doesn't really blend. Am I crazy or am, are you seeing that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that really does anything. I am just not a fan of products like this. Like it looks pretty, but it's because it's water-based. I think it's water-based. I don't know. It doesn't like actually hydrate the skin. It hydrates it, but it doesn't moisturize it, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just think that those in theory are good, but on face, I'm not a fan. Okay, now I just look crazy because I picked some pimples, but I am in desperate need of getting my freaking makeup decluttered. Like, desperate, desperate. But I just, I have not had the time to sit down and do it. Like, look at my blush drawer. It looks insane. These all look so bad. That's blush. I mean, you guys have seen my original declutter. Look at all of my lipsticks back there. I can't even see. And these are stuff, this is stuff that I like and keep. This is all eyeshadow. I'm thinking about, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking about, but I need to spend some time doing this because this portion of my desk is always so gross. And I had some people come over and say like, oh my gosh, your beauty room is so organized. And I'm like, no, no, no. Like, look at all those foundations. I don't even wear half of those. Like, at a certain point, I don't need this many things to compare for you guys. Like, I just want the stuff that's really good. So, I don't know when that's gonna happen, but it's happening. And I know that you guys will probably want me to film it because everybody loves declutters and I totally get that. But sometimes you just gotta be in the zone and like knock it out. So I was thinking about doing it like, I saw Kelly Gooch do a video where she just talked about the things that she decluttered and why. And I don't think I could do that for every single thing cause I'm gonna declutter a lot. But for like a few things, I feel like I could do that. I also just changed out my nails yesterday. I, um, if you haven't seen, this should be out by the time that these are out, but I did a collab with the nails brand Quickies and I'm wearing Quickies right now. These are the, from their new collection. They're so freaking cute. They have little bows on them. I love it. But my collection looks like this. They are little strawberry tipped nails. Look how cute that is. They have little French tips with strawberries on them. And I had these on for over two weeks. And right now you can purchase a bundle of the pen and the nails together on Bubble. Um, and we have like a limited quantity, but if you guys really like these, there's always the opportunity to bring them back. They are so freaking cute. I will put in a picture of me wearing them because I love quickies so much. And these are the medium length almond shape, which is my favorite. Some 
of you guys have noticed that I have been doing my brows a little bit differently. So I thought we could do it together. I already kind of did it in my other video um, where we were talking about new makeup, but I didn't show you the part where I use this goody goody. This is the Got To Be Glued Styling Spiking Gel. Essentially, all I've done is change the way I feel about the way brows look, if that makes sense. I did laminate my own brows at home. I don't recommend you do that. I didn't do a really good job of it, if I'm being honest, but it's okay. But this is what I've been doing, and I really, really like it. So I just take a spoolie, any old spoolie, literally, these are just plastic ones, and I just take the littlest bit, and I just kind of scrape it up against the side here of the spool and i take it and i run it through both my eyebrows first just to get it in all of the hairs i want them to kind of set at the same time so I'll start with this eyebrow and i just brush it up and out up and out so i don't want it to be all straight up i want it the front to be up and then i slightly you know what i'm trying to say I angle it out because I don't want it to look completely unnatural like it's stuck to my head. So once I feel like I have the shape down, I'll take a sweeping motion over the top like this so that I am setting the shape of the top like that. And then I'll take the back side here and lay it down a little bit. Not too much, just like slightly. And there you have it. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. Obviously my brows are, they're not even cousins. I don't even know what they are. And sometimes you need to go in with a little bit more and that's okay. If you need more, you need more. Um, my brows are not sisters, cousins. They are literally arch enemies. They hate each other. One is so fluffy and beautiful. That'd be this one. And the other one is um, always looking absolutely insane and grows in a completely different direction than its friend. So this one always takes me longer to find the shape for because this is also the one that my that I always pull the hashtag tail off of because I'm stupid. So once I get this down like that, I again take the top and just lay down the top so that I have like some shape to the tail without it looking totally insane. And then I'll take the back side and just place it down. Just, just like so. It does look a little bit more bold than what I'm used to, but I think it's really pretty, especially with makeup on. Even without makeup on, it makes me feel a little bit more done. Like I could leave the house and be like, oh yeah, well she has her brows done, and then obviously I put on some freckles. It just looks really cute. So after I do this, obviously there's like glue everywhere, so I take a clean Q-tip and just clean around that side of my face, and that's it. What do you guys think? It's funny because every time I turn the camera on, I look slightly different than I did five seconds before, but I just finished filming for the Paula's Choice ad that is due on Monday, and I'm talking about some of my favorites that they have for sensitive skin, and I wanted to talk about this toner because I feel like it's very underrated. This is the Nourishing Milky Toner. You guys know how I feel about a milky toner. I really love the Source Essence. I really love um, the Road Glazing Milk, and this one is also very good. It has some ingredients in here that are very interesting interesting um including marshmallow root extract hyaluronic acid it just feels super nice on the skin and then i also talked about the omega plus complex serum which is an oldie but a goodie of mine that i just like to have in my routine and that i also like to um top it off at night with the moisture renewal oil booster this is a really really nice oil if you are into like slugging or you don't like to use a balm and you prefer to use an oil i also like to mix this in with my moisturizer at night if i'm feeling really dry especially like right around my mouth where i get crusty dusty also i put some freckles on Let's do something fun and momentous together now that I'm back inside and sweaty. And that is opening my freckle pen that I bought for myself. <sighs> my girls are eating in the background if you hear that. But I can't believe I made this and you guys are getting it and you have it and it's coming to you and it's just amazing. And I really wanna take this second to be intentional about opening it and being like, the amount of work that went into this and the amount of support that I've gotten is not something that I take lightly at all. Literally the best and most fun thing I've ever done in my life. If I wasn't on Lexapro, I'd probably cry, but I am. <laughs> so all you're gonna get is a laugh and a love. Like, 
This is amazing, you guys. I hope that you love it so much. And just getting it in the mail and seeing it, like how you guys are gonna see it, is really making me feel so emotional. Um, there's a few things I wanted to call out about the freckle pen in this box. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna call out is on the bottom, it has my tattoo and it says Berry Patch Made on it. And that is because this was made with my community and you guys helped me pick the color and the packaging and everything. So I wanted to nod to you on here by making sure you know that you are included and important to me in this launch. And then on the other side of it, I wanted to mention that there is a QR code here on the inside of this flap. And this flap QR code is going to lead to a tutorial. And it's me on the tutorial. So if you are confused and you're not sure how to use it or you just wanna see how I like to apply it, that is there for you to use. Something that I was really specific about and I wanted a way to have it be like environmentally friendly without putting a bunch of inserts in there. So you can just use that QR code. And here it is. It's so cute. I just, I love it so much and I'm so proud of it. And just seeing the amount of people who have used it and loved it has been truly otherworldly to me. And I just can't express how much it means to me to see you guys using it and not only using it, but loving it. Ooh, this one's nice. Mine, I've had mine for a really long time and I'm running out of ink. <sighs> I love it so much and I cannot wait for you guys to see the new mascara and for us to just go on this journey together making products for you that you've been asking for that don't exist. I love you and this was so special. So thank you for letting me have this moment with you. It's I don't think we can listen to this music in my vlog. Okay, okay, copyright struck. Oh. This is my best friend, Hannah. Hello. I don't know if you guys have ever met her. I don't think so. On YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Blasphemy. I haven't um, vlogged in a really long time, so I've been vlogging this whole weekend. Because Reed's out of tune just today on a guess. Golf. <laughs> We're going to uh, my favorite vegan restaurant. Not vegan. Is it? I think it is. It's vegan. Doesn't, but I think they have right. Doesn't have chicken, so so that's vegan. <laughs> but it's gluten free, which is the best part. It's all gluten free, so I can order whatever the hell I want. And yeah, I said hell. Subi. This is an amazing caprese. Suddenly, no one is talking in this whole restaurant. <laughs> IMAX, where dreams are made of. <laughs> At this point, this is less of a vlog and more of a home movie. <laughs> that's okay, that's what a vlog is. Yeah. Just for 40,000 people, we're at the IMAX. And it's way bigger than we remember. <laughs> but I can't, you know, I'm not it's gonna. Like screen. <laughs> <laughs> they have. <laughs> It's not gone off yet. So we just, so we're walking out of the IMAX. And we're Googling a lot of things for dummies. But we can't tell you exactly which ones or else you might think I'm literally, are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> Science wise. We're not. For the, I would say we understood 83%. I, I was think gonna say one, 89. Once but it I got at, towards the end, you could connect the dots. Yeah, yeah, because they left a lot of stuff out on purpose so that they're ending, there's like a twist sort of thing. So once we got to the twist, then we were like, oh, but also, hmm, <laughs> what's happening? Someone said in the beginning, oh, there's like a lot of dialogue. And I didn't understand what they meant, and now I do. Yeah. There wasn't a there single wasn't a moment of, of dead space in that movie. No, and there wasn't a lot of like action, action. Like no, the bomb went off. Went the bomb went off one time. Twice. Okay, okay, but and Two we three saw it. Test. Yeah, but we wanted to see the big. I wanted to see the big one a couple times. If I'm being aged with you, Killian Murphy, amazing, Oscar worthy yes. performance, yes. and Emily Blunt, Oscar winning worthy yeah. performance. Okay, time to Google communism. <laughs> I think we need to end the vlog here. What do you think, Hattie? What do you think? Mm, understood. Uh, so I'm home and I am excited to go to bed, but I have to do some laundry still, unfortunately, which is fine. I just have to put some stuff away and I'm probably gonna watch some really light hearted, easy TV so that I do not have to think about math or anything else for a little while. Amazing movie, a little confusing, but once you sit down and think about it, it really is quite interesting, especially to know where we're at with all of that stuff now and to see some of the things that have come since then, it's quite scary. Okay, this is Hattie sign off. Hattie, anything to say? Penny? 
Anything to say for your sign off? <laughs> okay, <laughs> love you, bye.